Well, good morning, guys. At Alpine Creek Lodge, it is a uh, day something, I forget, and I might be able to get the snow machine out of here today by helicopter. So today, the adventure continues at Alpine Creek Lodge. I'm gonna take you guys on a little trapping trail and show you how people make a living in the middle of nowhere. Welcome to Truck House Live, baby. So the guy that's missing the sled dog has a friend with a helicopter and that friend is going to fly the helicopter over the mountains and see if they can find the dog today. And when they're finished with that, hopefully they find them, they're going to fly over here and they might be able to fly my snow machine, which is broken down all the way back out to the road, about 50 to 60 miles. So we'll see. But first, I'm going to get some coffee. Can you say that again? What? They found him. That's all it says. Found. Four exclamation marks. Found in a good way or hopefully not a... Right. Oh, well, man. he's got exclamations, so there wasn't a sad face, so that's right. good. Just like the other night, you go to get all geared up <laughs> to go. Yeah. Go yeah. On, they show up, they get, oh, we're going to have a helicopter come in, and before he takes off, here he, they find the dog. That's good. I hope he's all right. So he's on, on this side of the highway, huh? Well, it might be. Just so sometimes the in-reach isn't quite you know, right on point. Yeah, so the dog was walking back this way last night. Or I thought I, you could hear its bark kind of coming back this way slowly. Right. That's crazy. Cool. The dog has been found almost 40 hours later. That is awesome. Chrissy's serving it up. <laughs> Master chef. So he says, dog is healthy. He was scared of them and played keep away for 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no way. That's awesome. So, I can't believe he's out there two nights like that. That's yeah. So if he wouldn't go yeah. to them, who he knows their voice, yeah. he might have never came to. You were done too. Yeah, man. Thank you. Oh, oh, God. Little buddies. They're gonna be like, "What snow machine helicopter in Alaska? Like, who is this a prank call?" Yeah, right. <laughs> be someone in Florida. Thank Good you time. for calling State Farm. All agents are presently assisted. Thank you for calling State Farm Roadside Assistance administered by a Gerald. My name is. Hey. Are you in a safe location? Uh, yeah, I am. Okay, what's the year, make, and model of the vehicle? It's a 2019 Polaris RMK. It's a snow machine. And I was actually just going to see if you could check and my... what is the model for that? It's a RMK, 850. RMK? Yep. And really... And, and I... your first name? It's Tim. I'm sorry, the phone is breaking in and out. What's your last name? Oh, yeah, I have a... I'm on Wi-Fi calling right now, so it's really slow. There's a big delay, so you just have to wait a second. I actually just had a quick question for you. I don't know if the, sure. does the insurance cover uh, f uh, like helicopter removal of the snow machine? I was going to see if you could look that up. Um, I don't think so. So are you like far in the snow? Or? Yeah, yeah, I'm way out in the middle of nowhere, like 60 miles out. And uh, I had a friend that had their uh, snowmobile flown out by State Farm before with a helicopter, so I don't know what the options okay. are. So I need to get you to the right department. It's actually our claims department because it's considered a rescue. Okay. We're trying to reach you. Again, that's A-U-T-O-262-789. Please continue. All right, updating the situation. The helicopter did not help find the dog. It actually ran down the mountain last night and was on the road, so they found it. The dog's fine, thank God. So that chapter's closed. The next chapter is my snow machine is still, the engine's blown. So I met a couple new friends at the lodge. So they're gonna help drag my snow machine back out 60 miles to the truck tomorrow. So we're set on that. So today I'm gonna take you guys on a trap line tour. So this is a uh, Bob's trail, um, which is Claude and Jennifer's son they all own the lodge together and yeah i just want to show you pretty much how he makes a living essentially out here in the middle of nowhere so let's get to it 
All right, y'all, here we go. I bought this hat off Bob, support him. And now we're gonna go on the very trap line that this hat came from. So let's go check it out. All right, and here's the snow machine I'm borrowing here. Jody's kind enough to let me use it. That's still set? Still set. It, yeah, I should trip it off and show how it kind of works. Oh, there it oh. went. Boom. Yeah. And reset, you just put the push little sliders push, down and in. Push it down. Go. Flip the dog out. Flip the dog over. Gotcha. What's that called? The dog? Uh, this is called the dog in the pan. Gotcha. Then you lock it and gets it. Nothing. So what's the point of having them up on branches? Is that to keep like bigger dogs stuff from stepping in it? Um, yeah, so the snow doesn't get on them. Yeah, that makes sense. And then you can see them as you go by. So a little attractor hanging, so he comes to the end of the branch uh -huh. and tries to reach out, and that's where he gets it. So a ptarmigan wing or something. Ptarmigan yeah. wing, and then you put some uh, gusto or, you know, beaver caster or something really stinky on it. Yep. It's pretty stinky stuff. Huh. And then like the little pole sets. It's nice if you're going to leave them out and have them on a tall branch so they hang off the ground so the shoes and bulls won't get them. Yeah, totally. If yeah, you're not going to get back, you know, in four days or something. Yeah. All right. I don't know how far are we down the trail right now. Uh, what, three miles? It's a little ways down. Yeah. It's like three or four mile loop or something. Yeah, yeah. we'll cool. go turn around up here before we cross the creek. That way goes to Bobfish Lake where there's uh, grayling. Cool. And then back at the Y, that goes to Hatchet Lake. There's no fish in it, but. It's just a wheeler trail in the summer, I'm yeah. assuming, or like a swamp. Yeah. I don't know if you yeah. can even get down in this stuff. You but. could, I mean, if you didn't care about your truck, you could kind of get in there. But <laughs> yep. Yeah, so you want them to come charging up this, you know, looking at this guy. Yep, so you just get a ptarmigan wing hung up there. So then he's supposed to come up and. Just a couple feet off the trail. Reaching that and then. Bam. But yeah, gets his foot in there. Nothing. Nothing on this. And he said you put some beaver scent or something in that ptarmigan wing just to... Yeah, just to kind of entice them in. Pretty cool. Maybe one more time how you set the thing too. So now it's like, you can tell it's got that stick right there. So. Right. Yeah, so you got to pull those back. I don't know what this is called on the outside of it. Let's get a name to it. Uh, these are this is like this, these are called long, long spring traps. Okay. So this is a double long spring because it's got two. Gotcha. So get that out of there. And then that's the dog that flips the, over. The dog flips over. And, yep. It's just like a little lip or something that catches that dog in there. Yep. I'm oh, assuming. this one's frozen. So, well, that's basically it. Yeah, you get the dog to come up. The dog goes under that the pan, little pan lip yep. there. Well, he did the other one in like two seconds. So. <laughs> Nothing again. Nothing again. Yeah, that one's uh. That this one one's was still set. You want to set it off really quick to see it. So up the stick and just like that. Apparently not much luck today so far. We'll see. Or how long have these traps been out? Uh, a couple weeks. A couple weeks. If you want to, we can go back to the. Uh, we'll turn around here, go back to that Y. Okay. And then we'll go out and we'll pop up above uh, Hatchet Lake and. Cool. It's a beautiful view. You can see back to the lodge. Right on, man. Probably the sun will be on it. It'll be pretty yeah. cool. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Man, yeah. nice up here. Beautiful. Now we get up here just a little ways, we'll look down at the lake and you can see back in the line. Sweet. Hold up right there. I want to take a couple seconds to talk about an online community called Skillshare. Skillshare is pretty cool. It's an online learning community that has a whole bunch of classes, inspiring classes you can take. And they're great for just creative folks or people that really want to learn about uh, the creative arts. Personally, I've taken a couple Skillshare classes on color grading in Final Cut Pro and editing. And I've learned some pretty cool stuff that uh, I've actually been incorporating into my videos. And Skillshare is pretty cheap 
cheap. It's less than 10 bucks a month, so you really won't even notice it. It's curated specifically for learning, so you don't have ads and things to interrupt you throughout the video like you do on YouTube. And that really makes it conducive to staying focused and just learning what you came to learn. So I'm gonna throw out a little special for you guys. The first 1,000 people that go to my description and click on the Skillshare link are going to get a premium membership to check out Skillshare and then see what you think. Anyhow, if you wanna learn some stuff, Check out Skillshare, it actually is pretty cool. And uh, let's get back to the video. Yeah, so we just finished the trapline trail. We're gonna head up towards the uh, lodge. But first we're gonna play around a little bit. <laughs> You guys thought four-wheelers and dirt bikes were fun? <laughs> There's no words to describe snow machining. It's like surfing on a 500-pound surfboard. That's the best way I can describe it. Yeah, the snow's good, man. Hood deep. All right, we're back. You guys ever have to oil them down or anything or not? No, you, you don't oil them. I mean, when you first get them, you gotta you uh, boil them out and get all the uh, oil and grease off them. Uh -huh. And then you, uh, then you put them in this tanning solution. You uh -huh. want to get a layer of rust on them. You want them to rust up. Is what you're yeah. saying? It's a lot of traps. What do you guys use for the uh, or for beaver? They typically, I think they use the big conibears, these big 330s. Gotcha. And they're body traps, so it's yep. an instant. And uh, you do a little cubby with some stuff in there, and then uh -huh. they come in there and it just blacks them. But Close I think they down. do that more of that in the uh, early winter. Well, there you have it, y'all. That's uh, Bob's trapping trail pretty cool huh it's interesting because it's just a different way of life than a lot of people live out here it's i don't know i find it fascinating oh and by the way i may look completely ridiculous but i'm warm thank you bob <laughs> my name is timmy and i'm here to say i don't really know why you stare that way well, I guess the oil line popped off one of the uh, lodge's sleds and uh, got it fixed and so, about yeah, to take I it out for a test run. They're letting me test run it today, so I'm back in business. I, I just, cat T5 something. All right, so we're gonna go uh, just play around, surf some pal, make sure this thing's working all right for the lodge. And Those of you that don't know, this is how you get a snow machine unstuck. <laughs> Took me five years to learn this trick. I always thought you had to dig out a swimming pool around the snow machine. Yeah, well, I kind of tried to pack it back here a little bit as best I could, but. You're gonna be able to get it. If you need a double ski pole, let me know. Oh, uh, that's okay. So pretty much the- stop before it's too bad. Yeah, she's just gonna pin the throttle and he's gonna pull. And there you have it. Yeah, she's a pig. Yeah. <laughs> it's try it's good if you keep it flat, but the second you try to counter steer, it loses like all traction. The it's also bogging out though. I lost power a couple times. Like right when I need it most, it just kind of bogs. Ready? You guys see that? <laughs> I'm on the, uh, this is what happens when you ride a trail sled right here. So what they're doing now is kind of like packing me a trail so I can get back out to the road. The snow machine has no paddles on it at all. See how small those are. 
That and I suck at riding. Man, the snow is so good though. Oh, super good. Mid bench is what we call the coffee shop. Because you can look down in this left bowl and you yeah. look in the other one. And then maybe just let the belt dry out a little bit. Yeah, if this belt will grab, I'll be able to get out of here. Yeah, ready? Oh. Yeah, you guys go play. Oh. I can film both of you guys too if you wanted. All right, they're gonna play around. I'm gonna let the snow machine belt dry out. It's all wet. That's why it's like slipping and bogging. Snow machine ain't made for the powder, but it's fun to try anyway, you know? So I guess that was Iditarod Musher Jeff King's Jeep. And uh, they got it off him. Yeah, they use the Jeep for tours on the, uh, pretty much on all these little local off-road trails in the summertime. That's basically how they get all their vegetables and eggs and just stuff that freezes real easy out to the lodge. They'll load it in that Jeep and bring it back into just a heated vehicle. And I guess it takes like three hours to get to the lodge. The tracks, you can only go so fast so you don't mess the tracks up, so. So this is the sled they pull behind the Jeep and then they'll carry a snow machine in case the Jeep breaks down and they can drive the snow machine back to the lodge. Pretty cool. Thanks for showing it off. That's pretty sweet. All right, got a whole bunch of good food. There's Chef Chrissy doing it up again. Hey, Jim. Well, there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. I know I did today. Get to learn more about trapping than I've ever known. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. And there'll be another video. Who knows what it'll be about. Peace, y'all.